Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony, and today we are unboxing the Supreme Mystery Drama Box by Jeffree Star Cosmetics for spring of 2021. All right, guys, if you are a subscriber already, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. If you are not, please consider subscribing. I do mostly unboxings on this channel, fashion, makeup, and jewelry related subscription box unboxings. I do self-care Sunday and Dollar Tree hauls and makeup related videos on occasion as well. So if those are the types of videos that you're into, then please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Hit the gray bell if you wanna be notified when I upload. Now, without further ado, I am renaming this the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Drama Mystery Box because of all the drama surrounding it. If you are unfamiliar with the drama surrounding this box, I will get into it as we go through the items because I am, I'm on the fence. I do think that he should do something to make it up to us, but let's see what happens. But let's go ahead and get into this box. Now this box was $160. They sold out within seconds, I think it was, like they always do. And I was fortunate that my husband was able to secure me the largest one, so I was grateful to him for that. Now let's go ahead and get in here. I am very excited for most of the items in this box, but there is some drama surrounding some of the items. So let's go ahead and start unboxing this bad boy. So I can show you guys what's in here. First, it comes with a little card that is advertising some of his products. I like these little cards, they're really cute. But the very first item on the top is the sweater. Okay, so this is the hoodie that we received. There is the front. Logo on the sleeve, big logo on the back. There, you can see it. So now some of the drama is around this sweatshirt right here that I'm holding or hoodie, I guess you call it a hoodie. So the drama around the hoodie is that this was technically intended to be the exclusive item, but then they were saying the print, the print color was lighter. That's why it's the exclusive item. But then there was a video by Samantha Sweets. If you don't know who she is, you can check her out. She's a YouTuber, but she did a video where a, a customer who actually got a box emailed Jeffree Star Cosmetics company and the email that they sent her back said no the shirt and sweater weren't intended to be exclusive items and we're sorry that you're not happy so I don't know if there was like a mix-up in the company or what was going on with these boxes or whatever but this is one of the items that people are having drama over about so that is <laughs> All I know about it, I just know what I know from watching videos because I love watching the videos, but I am super happy to receive this. I do not have any Jeffree Star hoodies in my collection. I don't really own very many hoodies at all, so I will probably get a lot of use out of this. It's very cute. I like it. It's his new logo, so that's item number one. I am happy with it. The next product that I'm pulling out is the exclusive, the actual exclusive item, I guess you would say, which is a makeup bag. Let me go ahead and take it out of the packaging. Okay, so here is what it looks like. It's a tie-dye pattern, which I love. It's super cute. I love the style of it. it. Has Jeffree Star on the strap, has the logo on the front. This little button thing here is really cool, I think. You can make it smaller if you want it to be smaller or larger if you need it to be larger. It zips. The inside is um, washable or whatever, wipe outable, and it has a zipper pocket and a pouch. Yeah, so it has a little one zipper pocket and then one little pouch right here on the side, and then a big deep pocket. It is logoed all inside too. It's super cute. Uh, this is the item that I was most excited to get. It's an exclusive, but um, I don't care that it's an exclusive. I just thought it was super cute and I really wanted it. So super excited to have this makeup bag. The next item in the box is a fabulous item to be in the box, but I already own this item. It is the only repeat item that I already own that I've received in this box. So that's kind of nice. There's only one thing I have. I, however, do not, do not have a whole lot of Jeffree Star products. I've only bought, I think, 
two or three of his mystery boxes in the past. I can't really remember. So the only products that I have of his are the products that I have received in those mystery boxes because I buy boxes for my channel to unbox them with you guys. So aside from boxes, I don't buy products. So if I don't get it in a box, I don't own it. So unfortunately, I did receive the Bloodlust palette in my last mystery box, which is a bummer that he put it in two boxes in a row, knowing that Usually the people who buy these boxes are repeat customers, so he should know that. I'm not going to open this palette. I own it and everybody's already seen what it looks like. If you're unfamiliar what it looks like, I do have a video I think that I use it in. So um, I am going to actually put this in my 1000 subscriber giveaway. So I am oh so close to 900 and after that I want to get to 1000 so bad so I can do lives on my phone. But um, yeah, so this is going to be going in my 1000 subscriber giveaway. So if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. If you are, then be on the lookout for that giveaway coming up when I do make 1k. Okay, the next item in the box is an Extreme Frost, and I was super excited when I heard that Extreme Frost was going to be in this box, but I was also scared that I was going to get the Sour Ice the green tone shade because I got that shade in my last mystery box and I sold it on my Poshmark because it was it were it was like great for Halloween looks and stuff but I wasn't going to use it aside from that so it was just going to sit and collect dust so I thought maybe somebody who actually liked it could get some use out of it so I sold it but this I have right here in gag me so super excited that I got a different shade let's go ahead and take a look at it it's beautiful. Here it is out of the box. This one has more of a bluer shift, which I really dig. So let me swatch it. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is really pretty. Now, that being said, this is beautiful. I love the color of it. It's beautiful. However, I really don't care for Jeffree Star's highlighters. Personally, they're a little too chunky for me. It's not a finely milled highlight like Ofra, which is my favorite. It is a chunky, chunky highlight. So um, it is beautiful. It is stunning. I will use it, but it is not going to be like an everyday go-to highlight for me. But um, it would be definitely be fantastic for dressing up, holidays, parties. So I will definitely get more use out of the blue toned one than I would have out of the green toned one though. So that is fantastic. Okay, the next item that I'm going to show you guys is another item that there is drama over and this drama kind of includes me. Yeah, I'm kind of upset about this one right here. So here we have three single eyeshadows. Single eyeshadows? Really, Jeffrey? Not only am I upset at the fact that you put single eyeshadows in this $160 box but not only that I got duplicate colors so I have delicious delicious and wow so two of the same color I don't know why I would want two of the same color eyeshadow I don't want single eyeshadows to begin with not to mention two of the same color so yeah this drama can concerns me I am upset about it but I'm definitely going to have to reach out to the company and ask about this because a duplicate item in a $160 box is unacceptable. I really think that they should do something to make this up to the people who got duplicate items. I think they should do something to make this up to everyone who bought this box in general, but for duplicate items, that's really not cool. That being said, I am not going to use these single eyeshadows at all. I have promised the yellow one to a friend already, but the delicious ones will go into my giveaway. So then one of them will go in the 900 subscriber giveaway and one of them will go in the 1000 subscriber giveaway. So since they're the same color, I'll just separate them that way. Okay, now the next six items that I'm going to show you in the box kind of had a little bit of drama over them as well, just basically because they're all lip products. So people were like, six lip products is a little overkill. However, I am ecstatic about these six lip products that are sitting in front of me because like I said earlier in the video, I do not buy products unless I'm buying a box. So if I'm buying a mystery box or they're coming in my subscription boxes, that's the only way I obtain product for the most part. On a rare, rare, rare occasion, I will buy something from Boxy Pop-Up or a sale if I really, really want to try it. 
Aside from that, I try very hard not to spend extra money on makeup and skincare because I don't need it. I get so much in my boxes. So I do not have a whole lot of Jeffree Star products. So I do not have any of these six lippies. None of them are repeats for me. So let's go ahead and get into them so I can show you guys the colors that I got. So the first liquid lipstick that I got was in Gemini. And I'm super excited about these colors that I got because they're totally wearable colors that I am so excited to have. So here is Gemini out of the box and I will go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Oh, it's such a pretty color. And I love these lipsticks. They stay on my lips so nicely. They are so wearable and they smell so good. Okay, the second liquid lipstick that I received was in Androgyny, and I was totally hoping I got this one. It is such a pretty color, so let me get it out of the box so I can show you guys. Here is what it looks like. Let's swatch her. There it is. So this one's Androgyny. There they are together. So pretty, pretty, pretty nude tones. Super good for the summer, cannot wait. The next product was a lip liner and I got mine in Mannequin. So let me go ahead and take this out of the box. I've never actually had a lip liner from him before. I just realized that. So this will be my very first magic wand lip liner that I will ever be receiving. Oh, I'm super excited now. Let me go ahead and swatch it. Oh, and it looks like it's gonna match Gemini. Almost, oh, I could, yeah, that's really nice. I have lots of lipsticks that are this tone because I love these tones, so this will get great use. I'm so excited. The next one is the gloss, and this is in Let Me Be Perfectly Clear. And I, if you watched the videos, you know that it's perfectly clear. Here's what she looks like. I'm obviously not gonna swatch it because it's let me be perfectly clear. But however, while we're on the subject, Jeffrey, let me be perfectly clear. You better make this up to us. I think he should send all of the people who bought the Supreme box a, a special, exclusive, one-time only made item. That's my opinion. The next item that I'm receiving is also the gloss, and this is from the Bloodlust collection, I believe, and it is a wizard's glass. And I did see this um, in a lot of unboxings as well, but I cannot wait to get it into my own personal hands. So here is what it looks like in all of its glory. I am super excited for this. I cannot wait to see. I'm swatching it, smelling it. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I did not expect it to look like that it is super pretty you see that on the camera it's beautiful wow like super excited for these lippies okay and the sixth and final lippy and the one that i am also like super excited about i'm excited about all of them but oh my gosh a velvet trap look at the little trap velvet trap lipstick and i got mine in celebrity skin I was so happy when I saw this was in Celebrity Skin. I cannot tell you how happy I am to get it. Here's what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Can you see all the stars? Such a pretty color. Okay, let me swatch it for y'all. Oh, there she is right there. Beautiful nude tone. I love the packaging of this. It's like a matte bullet. So cute. Okay guys, the next item that I received in my box is the Orgy palette. And I was super excited again to get this because I do not have it and I really wanted it. So I was happy to see this in the box. Let me take it out of the box for you guys so you can see what the shades look like. I know everybody's probably already seen this palette as well, but since I'm keeping it, I might as well take it out and show it. Here's what it looks like. It's so big. I've never, I don't think I've ever, Jeffree Star's palettes are so large. I, he's the only one that I have palettes from that are like this big. And it's probably because I don't buy makeup outside of my mystery boxes and my subscription boxes. And he's the only one who puts, you know, humongous palettes together. So 
here we go this is a beautiful palette it has all skin tones in it you could make so many looks with this i cannot wait to use it i'm definitely going to keep this and use it it is such a great palette to have all these tones are so pretty there's so many it's so pretty i cannot wait to use it I love Jeffree Star's formula. I've, like I said, I have like several of his eyeshadow palettes in my collection and I do like his formula. So I'm super happy to have this palette. Now the very last item in this box is a mirror and I did get the chocolate soft touch mirror. I will open it up and show you guys. So here is what it looks like. It is the chocolate soft matte soft touch. Now, everybody who unboxed their boxes was like, oh my gosh, I got the chocolate mirror. I wanted the chocolate mirror. I loved the chocolate mirror. I don't like the chocolate mirror. And I already have a soft touch Jeffree Star mirror. So I don't need another one. So this chocolate soft touch mirror that everybody was raving about is also going to be going into my 1K giveaway. So if you are a subscriber, don't forget to hit the gray bell so you're notified when my videos upload because as soon as I make 900, I will be doing a giveaway. And then as soon as I make 1K, I will be doing a giveaway. I also currently have a giveaway running right now. So if you are a current subscriber, go ahead and head on down to the description box. I will link that giveaway in the description box. You can head over there and enter into that as well. But yeah, be on the lookout for this chocolate mirror and the Bloodlust palette they are going in my 1k giveaway along with many many other things that I have been collecting along this journey on YouTube to get to 1k. So I've been collecting items for my 1k giveaway for a little bit now so there is quite a good pile already. So these added things will just make it even better. Alright guys, so that was everything that came in the $160 Supreme Jeffree Star Cosmetics Spring Mystery Box for 2021. Okay, so in total we got six lippies, two palettes, uh, Extreme Frost, an exclusive makeup bag, a sweatshirt, and three single eyeshadows, and the mirror. So... I, to my count, the single eyeshadows must only count as one item because I'm, I believe this box was supposed to contain 13 items, two exclusives, and I'm counting 15. So the three single eyeshadows must count as one item, which that's better, but it's still not great. And the fact that I got two of the same color still sucks. So anyway, I'm super happy with my box just because the six lippies are amazing. I don't have them. I'm going to use them. The Orgy palette, I don't have. So that's a nice pricey item. The hoodie and the makeup bag and the Extreme Frost, I don't have. So I will definitely be using those. So really only three items in my entire box aren't for me. Like the single eyeshadows, I am going to pass along in my giveaway, the Bloodlust palette I already own, so I'm going to pass along in my giveaway, and the Chocolate Soft Touch Mirror is not my vibe, so I'm going to pass that along in my giveaway as well. So I think three items out of 13 is not bad for a box like this. I just wish that the exclusive item really was like better. I, I don't, I, like the hoodie's great, I don't mind getting a hoodie, fabulous, but there should have been an exclusive makeup item, Jeffrey. Everybody wants an exclusive makeup item. Anyway, I'm sorry to everyone who didn't like their box or had a box full of products that they already owned. I feel so sorry for those people. I, however, like I said, don't own most of this stuff. Only three things in this entire box are going into my giveaway. So that's not bad for me. I'm super excited for all of the products that I did get. But I am very curious to see what goes on with the drama and if Jeffrey actually does anything about the drama or if he just ignores it and focuses on his car accident that he just had and healing from that. I do hope that Jeffrey and his friend that was in the car accident are doing okay. I feel so bad that they were in a car accident. That's terrible. I hope they recover quickly and get back on their feet and all that. But um, I really do hope that he does something in the meantime to make it up to all of his loyal customers who are buying these boxes because a lot of people are buying these boxes and spending their hard-earned money knowing that they're going to get an entire box full of repeat makeup items that they already own because most people who like, who love Jeffree Star enough to buy these boxes like this, buy his products also. 
so they probably already bought or have already bought mystery boxes that have already had these items in them so don't put repeat items in the box but to top it off they're buying it for the exclusives because the only way to get the exclusives is to get the box so if you're telling me that there's two exclusives in here that nobody else is going to be able to get then i want those if i'm a collector so I feel really bad for the people who are collectors who spent the money knowing they already had most of the makeup products that were coming in the box just to get the exclusives and then they were disappointed by the exclusives because there was only one and it was a makeup bag. So that's just my opinion, my thoughts, my words, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below if you got a Jeffree Star Cosmetics mystery box from this collection, what you got in yours, if you have a video on it, let me know so I can go watch it. I've been watching a lot of them. I already knew most of the stuff that was coming in here just because I watched a lot of unboxings already. Usually he does like different things in the box depending on what size you order, but that doesn't seem to be the case with this box. It seems to be that every Supreme box was the same, everything in it. There was color variations. I do, I apologize. There was um, lip product color and eyeshadow color variations in it, but the palettes and the sweatshirt and the makeup bag and stuff like that were all the same in every box. So that was weird, I thought, because in the past it's been like different according to size, which was neat because then people who bought multiple boxes of multiple sizes didn't get repeats so also I feel sorry for the people who bought a small medium and a large in the box and then got it and it was all of the same items that's that's a bummer all right guys thank you so much for staying tuned and listening to me babble for so long over this <laughs> thank you for watching me unbox my Jeffree Star Cosmetics mystery box if you are a subscriber thank you so much for that as well I greatly appreciate it if you are not please consider subscribing I do mostly unboxings fashion makeup and jewelry related subscription box unboxings so if those are the types of videos that you're into then please join us I have a giveaway going on right now for subscribers check it out in the description box down below I will also have more giveaways coming up so if you are a subscriber please hit that gray bell so you do not miss my future giveaways i hope everyone has a great week and i will see you in the next one bye